What's up everybody, Riz here from Volley.co. Make sure you check out our blog. So one of my favorite features of all time with my Tesla is the regular software update. So think about it like your iPhone, right? Or your Android. You get these regular software updates and these updates usually have new features or bug fixes and that's no different with the Tesla. You get a new firmware update and the firmware is actually what runs the entire car. It's updated over the air OTA. You get a push notification on your Tesla app telling you, hey, there's a new software update. If you choose to update at that moment, you're given two minutes. I mean, that's very thoughtful. You're given two minutes to decide whether you actually want to do this because the update takes in general roughly about 20 minutes. During that time, your car is completely incapacitated. You can't do anything with the car. So you have to be sure that you don't have anything to do for at least 20 to 30 minutes before you activate the update. But once you do, it runs as course it takes about 20 30 minutes or whatnot once that is done you get awesome goodness it's like christmas and today was update day so i want to show you guys some of the features that came with the new update because these are things that most people would think are minor to them but for me these are little things that lets me know that tesla is always thinking about making the user experience pleasurable as possible low-key as possible as effortless as possible and that's why i like tesla so without further ado let's check out today's updates so the first new feature that came in today is called adjacent lane speed. Now what that does in a nutshell is the Tesla determines how busy each adjacent lanes are and what the rate of merging by other cars are. Using that information of how busy the lanes are and how much merging is going on between lanes, it can actually inform its decision on when to suggest a lane change and how fast to make a lane change. Pretty much otherwise making things a lot safer, making your merging a lot smoother, and also helping autopilot understand the data around it. So that's really great for autopilot. It makes, just makes your autopilot a lot more intuitive and a lot more safe. The second improvement that came in, which is one of my favorites, is automatic wiper improvements. Now this is freaking awesome because it's been raining for the last couple of days here in Los Angeles and not having to fiddle with your windshield wiper controls is a godsend. So what this does is it automatically detects the rainfall, the rate of the rainfall, how heavy the downpour is, and based on that information, it'll determine how fast the wiper should go. So no more having to fiddle with the wiper speeds when it gets heavier and less rain and heavier again and less rain no you don't have to bother about that as soon as a drop of rain hits the windshield or you know rain starts falling it starts the wipers at the speed that it determines would be best and most efficient to clear your windshield as that downpour increases and it gets a lot heavier the speed of the windshield wipers would increase to match making sure your windshield stays clear through your drive again a lot lot safer for you driving and it's the little things that matter tesla thinks of the little things that's why i love tesla another improvement that came in today was automatic lane change improvements again that just builds on the first feature which we, again determining when is a safe time to recommend a lane change and when to take that lane change and how fast to take that lane change my second favorite feature that came in this new update is auto steer stop sign warning now the title is a bit misleading because it's not just for stop sign warning it's also for stoplight warning and that's very important because when you're an autopilot and you get to a stop sign or stoplight freaking autopilot just breezes through and goes by now this gives it some more data points to understand that hey there's a stop sign over here there's a stoplight so it alerts you to take that move take that decision take that action to stop the car in time so it determines that you know you haven't started making actions to stop your car before the stoplight it does its calculation and it understands you know what you're not paying attention or you're not going to be able to stop in time so i'm going to alert you that there's a stop sign or a stoplight and that's very very vital because if you're an autopilot this is just one less hurdle that the tesla now overcomes in terms of stop and I can envision this feature getting even more intuitive and a lot smarter as time goes on because it would protect you from having to run red lights or having to make a hard stop because you thought your Tesla was gonna, your autopilot was gonna slow down or stop at a red light or a stop sign. So this feature is very, very important and it's actually a life-saving feature that I really appreciate that Tesla has put into this into the new update. So there you have it. These are the awesome new features unlocked with the new update that Tesla just pushed today. But first of all, I want you to think about something. Think about the amount of foresight Tesla had to have for or such features because they had to have installed the hardware in my car months and months ago when I purchased the vehicle to know that hey six months down the road we're gonna unlock this feature we're gonna unlock that feature so let's make sure these hardwares these cameras these radars these sensors are already in place so when we unlock those features it's only just gonna take a software update now that's that's just yeah, that just blows my mind the amount of foresight a car company has if this is what they've thought about think about the things that you can't even envision that Tesla has already thought about or is gonna do if they can take this amount of time and foresight to put the hardware in my car that's needed for future features 
I don't have anything to worry about. They got it covered. So these are the new updates that came through today. I'm so excited to test them out and see how good they work. And if you don't have a Tesla yet, what are you waiting for? Why are you still paying for gas? You don't need to pay for gas. You don't have to anymore. There are Model 3s, there are Model Ss, there are Model Xs, soon to be Roadsters and Cybertrucks and Model Y. So hey, you got your choice. If you're driving a car right now on the road, a brand new car, you can afford a Tesla, period. So what are you waiting for? All those other cars are bullshit. You don't need to pay for gas, you don't need to pay for maintenance, all of that crap. That's just yesterday's news. Think about it. Whatever you're paying for your car, your car note, let's say it's $304 a month, calculate the amount of money you're spending on gas, which would be about another 200 bucks a month. So already a $300 or $400 car is costing you $600 or $500 per month. And then all the maintenance costs, all the little things that you go for a regular checkup of the car and they tell you, oh, this needs to be replaced, that needs to be, there are no moving parts in the Tesla. So none of that crap is gonna happen with you. What you see is what you get, what you pay is what you pay. So whatever your car note is on a Tesla, that's practically pretty much what you're gonna expect to spend every month on your car. So what are you waiting for? Check out Tesla, give them a test drive, give them a test and let me know what you think. Riz here signing off, voli.co, check out our blog.